items that I have for this DIY are a candle holder from Dollar Tree, this tray that I got from Dollar Tree, and then this fur that I have picked up from a thrift shop. Um, also, you're going to need E6000, and you're also going to need a hot glue gun just to glue the base to the bottom. Um, so. So over here I have my um, tray and I will be using this spray paint. This is the spray paint that I really, really like to use. I use that in all my projects. I did purchase this at Walmart, but I'm pretty sure you can find that in other places. So yeah, you can use that on metal. You can use it on plastic. And I'm just going to spray it. Um, yeah, so I have like a box just to make sure that I don't spray anything, you know. Okay, so here I have my cute little fur that I'm going to be using. My pink tray that it is already dried. I spray painted pink. And then this was from a project that I had done a while ago. And I just took it out and I didn't have to spray it. That's why you don't see it in any of the clips. So these are from Dollar Tree. Um, my E6000. You can find E6000 at E6000 in Walmart. I do like to get the little ones because I feel like I can um, get more use out of them believe it or not i feel like they're better than just the big old tub um i feel like it dries out sometimes so these are definitely a go and i have a scissor and my hot glue gun that has been already um warming up and ready to go so what i'm going to do is just basically turn this around and um i did not spray this because uh no one's really gonna see the bottom so you don't have to spray the bottom you're just basically gonna go in the middle of the tray you want to go in the middle because you want it to be as you know balanced as possible because you are going to be putting perfumes or whatever your heart desires so i have my e6000 i'm going to put that first on the rim of the candle stick holder and then i'm going to use my hot glue gun because the hot glue gun dries faster than the e6000 so that's what you're going to see me do so I am just going to go ahead. Do not mind the orangeness. <laughs> I am just going to go ahead and go around the rim. Okay. And then I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And oop. so I received this from Amazon, a seller, and I had to do a review. And I have it really, really high because... Um, I'm going to need, oh, I used too much. It fell on the side, but that's okay. So we're going to go press down. I'm just pressing down as you see, and just leave it there for a few, leave it there for a minute. I press down firmly. Just don't press too hard because you don't want the tray to bend so press down firmly for a good 30 seconds um to a minute and then i do let it stand for about you know a minute or two without any pressure you could put a book if you'd like you could put something on top of it um but i find that it, it'll be just fine that way okay so i'm gonna turn it around I have some glue that I have to take out. That's fine. I like it this way. So this is what it's looking like. Okay. And now we're going to glue the fur around. Okay. Let's start that. So I'm going to grab the edge. And I'm back where no one's going to see. That's another um, technique. So I'm going to do that until it meets to the, to the other side.
piece it is done it looks so cute I love it I love it I love it and you can do it any color and you can put this anywhere even like um, for the holidays like a pastel Christmas you could do like a pastel Easter and have this out you could put this in a little girl's room in your vanity if you're a girly girl like me this is so perfect you could put jewelry on top of this perfumes decor you name it you can put it here and it's just a really really cute and inexpensive way to you know display whatever your heart desires if you like projects like this please put a thumbs up and leave me a comment below so that i know that you like these type of things and i will see you in my next video bye